Good morning, everyone. Today is our last day here in Moscow, so we're going to take the train at 3 p.m. And we are eating breakfast at Kleb Bread. It has been such a long time since I've uploaded on YouTube, I think over a year, and I was debating whether I should skip to the present day or show you all of the videos that I've taken but haven't published yet. It's been a very busy year, and I still have a lot of videos from Russia, a few from Mexico, and then I've also been to the US, Canada, and Portugal this year. So I think what I'm going to do is publish my favorite ones, or the ones that I think you'd like, based on the comment section, and try to catch up to the present day as fast as possible. So today we're exploring Gorky Park, the Lenin Library, and taking the train back to St. Petersburg. It's going to be a more relaxing video, since I don't have a lot of historical background to cover. I mainly just wanted to show you the scenery here in Moscow. So we got to Gorky Park and it started raining a little bit. It's a nice park, fountains over here and ping pong tables. So we're gonna head over to the river and um, see what we can find. There's a, there's a museum here called the Garage Museum, but um, we're short on time. So I think we're just gonna walk around and head back and then take the train to St. Petersburg. over there. And now we are here at the river. It's a little bit of a gray day today, but at least it's not raining hard. In the 1700s, this area of Moscow, where Gorky Park is located, was just gardens and meadows of large estates. But by the end of the 1800s, it was just a city trash dump. The Soviet Union cleaned up the area in the early 1920s, and in 1928 it opened up as a central park of culture and leisure. This park was part of Moscow's plan to become a socialist city of the future. In 2011, the park underwent major renovations because there were abandoned buildings, tents, rundown attractions, and even a really unsafe roller coaster ride. It began to rain when we were at Gorky Park, so we left and we wanted to go see the Russian State Library, which is one of the largest libraries in the world. It used to be called the Lenin State Library of the USSR, but the name was changed in 1992 by Boris Yeltsin. Many people still call it by its nickname though, either the Lenin Library or Leninka.
I was impressed by the reading rooms and how organized everything was. If we had more time today, I would have loved to play chess in the lobby. Since it's raining and we have to head back to St. Petersburg soon, we're just gonna take a little walk and stop for lunch, and then we're gonna head right over to the station. I'm gonna let you enjoy the rain here for a second. I wish we had trains like these in the east coast in the US. I would go from Boston to DC more often on weekends to visit family, especially if we had Russian prices. These trains are fast, they're clean, I would definitely use it more often. I'm gonna be quiet now and let you enjoy the Russian countryside. I was thinking I would end the video here, but I really enjoyed this ride, so I left it in. And you can really get to see some more of the Russian countryside on this way back. Even though I'm not in Russia right now, I really can't wait until the next time I can come visit. There's so much more of the country to explore, and I hope my videos don't come across as biased in any way. I try to make them as unbiased and apolitical as possible. I don't have any political statements to make, I'm just trying to show you my perspective of my life in Russia. I know it's a very unique point of view, but wherever I travel I'm gonna try to give you my perspective and not a perspective that someone's trying to sell to you. So now we're back in St. Petersburg, I am going to look through my videos and choose which ones to publish next. You can actually help me decide what videos you want to see if you participate in my Instagram story polls. Thank you for watching and have a great day!